Today I'm going to create some really kooky birds. I've got a bunch of papers picked out, some washi tapes. I have no drawing for this. I'm just going to jump in and see what happens, play with the scissors, and start cutting away. Can't wait. Okay, I've got the paper cut out. And by the way, I'm Terry Runyon, visual artist and creative encourager. And I'd love it if you guys just grab some paper and start cutting and see what kind of birds you create. I've got these birds cut out. I'm gonna glue them down now. Very exciting, that part of this video. Then I'm gonna come back in with some details and washi tape. So let's get going. I do my gluing off to the side of my artwork on a piece of paper and then as I glue along I fold the paper and keep using the areas that haven't been used yet for gluing. And I also use this Craft Bond glue stick that's permanent and acid free and I haven't had any trouble with it yet, fingers crossed. Gluing done onto the washi tape. and glasses required for cutting. Okay, I found out something new about this paper I'm using. It's the Prima watercolor paper, and it doesn't do well with washi tape. So I do recommend this paper for watercolor. It's a fairly cheap paper, and it's fun to use because it's so absorbent. But yeah, not for washi tapes, FYI. Just ran my hand through the ink. I'm gonna come back in and fix that later. So hang in there with me and I'll show you how I do that.
Okay, I'm gonna try to fix this spot here on my foot of this goose looking thing with um, Doc, Dr. Martin's, Dr. P.H. Martin's pen white. So that's what I'm using here. I'll link to this below. And I'm using my regular pen nib. So here we go. I just tried the pen white on the washi tape and it doesn't work. The washi tape resists the Dr. Martin's, P.H. Martin's pen white, so more learning going on. Okay, moving right along. I'm thinking of coming in here with some watercolor. And you know, we get to these points with our artwork where do we add something or not? Do we go ahead and see if we're gonna mess it up completely or not? Will this really add enough to make it worth the risk? And I'm just gonna do it and see what happens. Wish me luck.
Okay, I'm gonna call this done. There's things I really like about it and I had a lot of fun doing it. There's also some things I have some inner critic coming up and I'm ignoring those. This channel is all about having fun and when we notice things coming into our experience that are not fun, that are telling us that what we're doing is not good enough or anything around those lines, we can just ignore those thoughts and keep playing with our art. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you have. Please share it around if you think someone else might be interested and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. And I'll be seeing you soon. Have a fantastic day.